Welcome back to the next part of our fight in the Silver Snow Path, the confrontation at the palace. Everyone, I'm going to skip that cutscene. This is the fight you all go through right after the Enbar infiltration. There's no break. So, once you finish the Enbar infiltration, the next thing you'll see are a few cutscenes, and then you'll be advanced straight to this battle. It makes sense from a story perspective. You're not going to duck out and say, oh, you know what, we're going to wait another month to invade the Empire. No, you're invading this month. That being said, double check your units. See that they're still good to go like last time. Actually, actually in this regard... No, I'm actually going to keep flame still. Just do a little bit of a comparison. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm actually gonna. Um, mm, no, for this mission, I'm actually gonna switch out Flame for Marianne. And have Flame. Violet. Once again, have uh, Sophia covered by Raphael. Oop. Felix. We'll just go with Petro. I also do a battalion refill. You you only get this chance to do so. so. And if anyone else needs a repair, well, now is the time to double check to see if anyone does. My team is good. So I will begin the mission. Victory conditions defeat the enemy commander. Defeat the peak conditions, all your units fall in battle. They've made it into the palace, defeating them every This should really come as no surprise to anybody. Um your final boss of this map is Edelgard. She's pretty strong. She's got high charisma for her uh, battalion, the Supreme Armored Company. She's also level 40. The recommended unit has it, uh, not unit. The only difference is Edelgard is much, a little bit stronger than Hubert. She is of the Emperor class, which is an armored class, but her armored effect null ability will nullify any extra effectiveness against armored units. So things like, um, Armor Slayer won't work well here. I should also point out that it, any path to Edelgard is blocked by three impassable doors. And what that means is you'll need a door key from anyone if you want to advance. The good news is, all around the map are units with door keys. The warlock behind you has a door key. This grappler has a door key. Well, that, that grimmer has a talisman. Even the guy right in front of you has a door key. So you can take him out and march on through. I should also point out that there is a fire orb manning this place. I mean a mage manning a fire orb. And a soldier, a sniper in particular, manning a ballista. Now you can go to the side and take him out, but... If you're pressed for time and you don't mind taking some extra damage, now is the time to just charge forward. I must leave them well. Grab the door key and just bust your way through. If you have a thief or an assassin, they would not be a bad idea to bring along because they don't need a door key. But, however, that also presupposes that they're going to be alive, so... Keep that in mind as you fight with them. Oh, that was a master key. Uh, you're not normally that lucky, though, so don't anything. take that as a... Oh, well... Cuddly Wombat told us that you needed a door key, and I got a master key. That's only because I'm playing online. Ready if you're not playing online, and you're not as lucky as I am, and chances are you're probably not as lucky as I am, you're not gonna get. You're not gonna get that door. A master key. So, 
stick with your strategy of busting through. Should also point out that Ingrid can't really pass these walls. Because they are terrain that cannot be crossed. You have to make your way through these narrow door bottlenecks. You don't have a choice, sorry. Put me in there. Now you'll notice that there are some demonic beasts, but not just any demonic beasts. These are giant demonic beasts. And they are pretty strong. They have low resistance though, so as long as you can smash their barriers and hit them with spells, you should be golden. Of course, I, I, I am well aware that the likelihood of that happening is close to zero, but... Uh, right, at least right for the start, but... You know, you know. I'm actually going to have Marianne... Dance. I let Lith. So Byleth can unlock the door. I'll cut things down. I do this In the meantime, Bernadetta will move up. Uh, yeah. Run. This is a, a pretty complicated fight, so if you want to bring out some of your better items, uh, I will not blame you. More fighting. To see if I can take that guy down using Meteor. Take out the archer. Ooh, a uh, critical meteor. That, was fun to watch. that has really hurt that swordmaster in front. Let's make this quick. Which allows Lysithia to just do a light spell poke. Now it's incredibly likely that you'll have to fight at least one of the demo giant demonic beasts. If you've, by the way, if you've made it past, um, they'll open the, they'll open both the doors in an attempt to get as many beast uh, units to kill you as possible. That was actually rather inconvenient because now I have to deal with a freaking monster. Reinforcements will also appear from those gates. Uh, I hate that actually. So I've got no real way to stop this beast, but I do have a gambit. Gambit plus lethality. Lethality. We'll take a bit off that monster's health. Scythia, not targeting the far away barrier. We'll smash that. I'll have him stay here. And Byleth, as Byleth overpowered as he is, we'll take out that de giant demonic beast. Notice on the way to Edelgard, there are a few spellcasters. There's a few mortal savants. And Gremories. Be prepared to take them on. And now we've got this giant demonic beast who is a problem on his own. Smashed open a hole in that barrier. By the way, if you're worried about using gambits, now is- now is- there is no real better time than to use them against powerful beasts. You may also want to use them against Edelgard, but, uh... It's not necessarily the smartest option. Because- oops. Edelgard, as you might have guessed, resists! Um... Just indicate that. She resists... Gambit damage with her commander ability. Oops. 
Really, you can use gamuts as a way to weaken her because she is only at 58 health, not like a monster. But in my opinion, you are much better. It's much more effective to just weaken her with a gambit for up for other attacks. All right, I've just put that beast out of commission. Which is the perfect time for someone like Ingrid to go in. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use. Bernadetta's long range just yet. She can't reach that far, and she's gonna be in range. Then Hart will just deal some damage to that monster. Go back. Yeah. Sorry. Dorothea. Not Meteor. We'll just use Thorn. Will this ever end? Take down that this giant demonic already. beast. Those problems out of the way. The other units will start coming through, but... I won't have to take too much damage from the Ballista and the Fire Orb if I move everyone into the throne room in time. Obviously, this is not a wonderful situation at first, but just gotta hang in there. Now, the do will appear. Once you've made your way partially through to the throne room. And Dadu is going to be your ally. He can't be controlled, but he will help you out. And he's going to be really effective, but please keep in mind that Dadu is a fortress knight. And he sucks against magic, which all of these guys are. So keep him away from any magic users. That being said, for any anybody else that doesn't use magic he's going to just tear them apart so save them up save any of those users just for him it won't be in vain be careful okay Dorothea is actually a bit weak i mean bernadetta so i'm actually going to heal up people a bit first Heart can also heal. Vendetta. I do this for all of us. I'll try to see if I can. Nope. Don't get a crit. I. gonna start moving people away from the ballista if at all possible Infiltrators. don't worry some people will be stupid enough to go up against to do proof of my loyalty I'll cut a path for his highness Did I mention that the dude is weak against magic? Take out those uh, spellcasters. That wasn't a joke. I mean, you don't really need to do a life for this mission, but it, he is going to be a big help. As you can tell, he's basically invulnerable to so anyone who isn't a magic user. Don't worry, don't worry. Just keep moving. Don't worry about the constant magic users. Just get rid of everyone in the throne room. More proof of my loyalty. Because once everyone in the throne room is gone. I aim for 
greatness. Just like that. Can't pull back yet. Ah! Attack at your own risk. And I'll Just clear out the throne room of any magic users. This is the cost of war. That was fun to watch. That is unstoppable. Be careful. Protect me. Take out the magic users. Get everyone up. And over. And now that the throne room is yours, you can basically do whatever you need to against Edelgard because everyone else is going to have to work their way up to kill you. Now, when you're ever you're advancing on Edelgard, it's important to note that her. Um, shall I say, a re uh, attack zone is really small because you can only fit eight units at a time. And that's not assuming that all eight units can attack her. I'm going to finish her off with Byleth pretty quickly, but it's just helpful to remember that Edelgard must be attacked. And she's got a pretty good moat surrounding her. And this stairway will funnel basically warriors to her so she doesn't need to move too much. So please keep that in mind when you're fighting Edelgard. However, I'm just gonna finish her off really quickly just to finish this walkthrough. But I will never I will smash that fall. With a crit. <laughs> I'm gonna skip that scene. That is the confrontation at the palace battle. Completed really just get one of the doors open as fast as you can. I did the central door Clear out the spellcasters to do will arrive to back you up So it's a doubly important you get rid of the spellcasters get out of enemy fire kill the giant demonic beasts if you have to and Advance on Edelgard as soon as you can because once you defeat her battle is over Thank you so much for this walkthrough if you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe There will be more videos like this in the future until then, thank you again. I'd like to thank you again for watching, and please join me in the next video about the Silver Snow Path.